Okay, let's take on Rachel's second level. And actually, before we start, I want to uh, equip the earrings of celerity. Not the jade earrings, the earrings of celerity. There we go. Okay, now let's start charging up essence techniques. Um, oh wait, no, enemies don't start appearing yet. But as you can see, with the earrings of celerity, your essence techniques and ultimate techniques charge up much more quickly. So that's a nice effect. Let's see. Ah, here we go, here's the guys. Okay, can I please kill these guys? I just need to kill one. There we go. Ooh, I got both of them. And this guy is done. Anyways, in this chapter is the first opportunity opportunity to actually get Nimpo for uh, Rachel. So you're gonna... But you have to do a pretty tough fight to uh, get it if you don't know how to cheap the... If you don't know how to cheap it. Anyways, take care of this grenade launcher guy. And then take care of this guy. Yeah, you have to go through a pretty tough fight to get the uh, Nimpo for her, but if you know how to, if you know the easy way of beating it, then it's, well, not that tough. Anyways, like, like I say, save whenever the game gives you the opportunity. Have I said that? Well, if I haven't, save if the game gives you the opportunity. I know it sounds, uh... Stupid that I'm forgetting things that I may, may or may not have said in my past parts, but you have to remember, I'm... For the most part, I do these levels one day at a time. So, like, for level 7, it, that actually took me two days, because that's a pretty long level, and I didn't want to overload you on me. But, yeah, I usually just do a level a day for this. I try to do a level a day. Actually, hold on, let me check this guy out. Usually, uh, ninjas, like this one, have, uh, different items on them when you check them with Rachel. Yeah, every place where Ryu can get items, Rachel can also get items, but different items usually. Usually they're just potions. Anyways, w once we, um, bring the drawbridge back down, which I don't know why it was up, I don't recall putting it back up. Maybe somebody just happened by and decided to flip the switch again. Anyways, once you reach here, on Master Mode, you end up having to fight one of the toughest enemies in the game. The Berserkers. These guys are pretty well known for being among the uh, hardest enemies in the game. Because they have a lot of annoying attacks. But, hold on. There's an easy way you can beat this guy. When I stop fucking up. What you need to do... Let's see if I can't do it right. Ooh. Let's see. Nope, not there. There's a way where you can get this guy into a spot where he can't hit you. Let's see. Let's try this way. Because I know... Damn it. Okay, I know that there's a way that you can get the guy... Not there. I gotta... If you... It works later in the game, I know that. Let's see. Nope. Okay, instead of back backing up all the way, let's see if this works. Nope. Haha. -ha. Come on, buddy. Where the hell did he go? Ah, damn it. Okay, hold on. I forget how you do this exactly. Trust me, I know this thing exists. I've seen it. I might just have to fight this guy fairly, which I don't want to do. Because <laughs> this guy is really hard. Haha. -ha. Fighting this guy fairly is not exactly the easiest thing in the world to pull off. If you're playing as Ryu, there's actually a really easy way to beat these guys. But I'm playing as Rachel, so... I have to go through some rather strange methods to beat them. Ah, this is where they go berserk. Now they're faster and, well, more aggressive. Okay, there we go. I can charge up. Yeah, it's good to have the armless celerity for this. Yeah, he hits way harder now, so be careful. Woo! Haha, -ha, managed to hit him. Oh shit, that's one of his more annoying attacks, the charging attack. Did I hit him? Nope. Okay, wait for him to attack. Whoop. Haha! -ha. Take that! Yes! 
Ah, oh, he blocked it. Haha. -ha. What would really suck is if he knocks me back into the bridge area, then I'd have to start this over again. Whoop. I don't care if I use up all my potions. Potions are insanely cheap with Rachel. And you just find a bunch of potions with her. Whoop. Okay. Steady on, buddy. Okay, gotta use my Great Spirit Elixir. I know there's a really easy way to beat this guy, but I can't figure it- Oh, I beat him! Alright, there we go, that was a Berserker. Now trust me, those guys are not as hard as I made them out to be, uh, if you're playing as Ryu. Now, instead of Nimpo, uh, Rachel has Sorcery, and this is Blades of Ouroboros. And it's the only Nimpo- or Sorcery you get in the game for her. And there's only a couple of, uh, actually exactly two, uh, upgrades for it. Anyways, even though I used up my potions, actually, I just remembered, I have a Talisman of Rebirth. Oh, well, it, uh, keeps me from adding to the death total. So, yeah, we now actually have some magic to use with, uh, Rachel. Uh, Blades of Ouroboros is... Kinda similar to a Nimpo that Ryu gets way later in the game. It basically just hits all enemies. Okay, that guy's taken care of. And this guy's dead. You know what, just for shits and giggles, let's keep my score up just to see how I rank up. And I couldn't kill this guy quickly enough. Take that, and how about this? For the most part, it's just better to go with strong attacks for Rachel, because they're just more effective, though, really. So, once we get out here... Well, nothing, really. I'm thinking of something later. I think, anyways. No, no, I'm pretty sure it happens here, but it's later. Anyways, in here... Son of a... Ah, I keep saying that word. I'm not gonna say it, because that would just be me keep keeping on saying it. What the hell am I talking about? Ooh, ooh. Okay, take care of this guy. I can get his uh, essence. Ooh. Take care of this guy. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you! Take this! And, uh, as I expected, he dropped health. Yeah, those, uh, the black SWAT team members tend to drop health pretty much all the time, so... They're pretty good if you can kill them easily for uh, getting health back. Whoop. Yeah, as you can see, that attack kills these guys in one shot, so it's a pretty good thing to use. So, going over here to the guy that you could normally get nunchucks off of, check his body and you get a potion. And another save point. Boy, they're just being so generous. This is a really short level if you just go straight to the end, but I'm going to take on the Fiend Challenge because I'm stupid like that. And like the other Fiend Challenge in uh, Rachel's last level, I never have done this one before, and I've never actually seen this one before, so this is going to be some a completely new experience for me. So I'm expecting a few deaths, to be honest with you. I'll be surprised if I don't die. So, where you're supposed to go is over there if you want to get to the end of the level, but we're going to go this way, because this way leads you to the Fiend Challenge. And this is actually one of the chests that is gets taken away because it contains a uh, plot-related item rather than just a potion. And I'm guessing if you took the blue door back at the place where we uh, fought the Berserker, you could just take that shortcut back here. Which I kind of wish I remember. I kind of wish I remembered that. Over here is a door that I kind of glanced over uh, the first time we came through here. I didn't even mention it. I don't think. But uh, we can't go through this right now. There's a skull symbol on that. Remember that for later. Now through this door is the fiend challenge. So I'm gonna stop this recording right here, and when I start up the recording again, uh, I'll be taking on the fiend challenge, which will likely be sped up and you know the usual fare with music and everything, because. I would have a really hard time trying to commentate on these and not dying. Plus, just like 10 straight minutes of me killing things. Listen, if you've seen my No More Heroes 2 playthrough, you know how that usually fares. So yeah, let's try this out.
Well, god damn, I can't believe I actually managed to do that. Unfortunately, I can't say it was deathless, because I did end up having to use the, uh, the, um, the Talisman of Rebirth, but I actually managed to beat that Fiend Challenge. It was pretty damn intense. I was actually almost certain at certain points that I was going to die. I was just going to mess up and die and have to start the whole thing over again. But yeah, I managed to do the Fiend Challenge, and for that you get a Spirit of the Devils. Much better than a crappy hairstyle, huh? So yeah, let's get back to the save point. So I don't have to do that again. Okay, quick, get to the save point, ignore the SWAT team. Yes! Man, now that was intense for me. <laughs> yeah. Good thing I... Uh, I'm just glad I managed to do that, because that is one of the harder Fiend challenges in the game. The Fiend challenge is where they have to have you fight the bulky enemies, like the really big and powerful enemies that uh, have a lot of health. Those are some of the toughest Fiend challenges in the game. So, yeah, uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna take care of these guys, because they're pissing me off. And, uh, I'm gonna go kill this guy, because he's pissing me off. So, yeah, overall, one death on that Fiend challenge, I think that's pretty good. And I think I'm gonna take a little break for a moment, and, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so I think I did good. Do you guys think I did good? I was doing pretty awesome there, huh? And we've got a lot of money, so we can replace all the items I used. So yeah, when we come back, we're gonna finish off Rachel's level, cause... I need a little break, cause, uh, my heart's still kinda pounding from that challenge. It was tough. See you next time.